I was at a photo conference and someone talked about how important Robert Frank was to their work. And for me, Robert Frank, other photographers were not as important as Wyeth was at that very formative stage. Things Beyond Resemblance encompasses my project about Andrew Wyeth. Starting in 2010, I began to photograph in sites that Wyeth worked, and uh, I started to look again at Wyeth. I discovered that I still had a lot of Wyeth in me, that I this memory of his work from my adolescence had sort of formed the foundation for my picture making, my sense of visual experience. There's a richness to inkjet print the way I like to work with it. So my Wyeth photographs have a kind of, even though a lot of the colors are muted, there's a kind of thickness to the surface that I hope will in some way be an analog to the richness or the depth of the natural world, but also to Wyeth's relationship to the natural world. So to take the photographic process and not exactly emulate Wyeth, but to stand in the same place, think about how I would make a photograph, then look at how he made a painting, and the sort of dialogue between the, between the two. It's been a really great process. I've had a lot of fun coming out here and uh, making work. There's a picture called Interior Space, which is completely made up of some elements from the John Chad House and the Brandywine River. Uh, it sort of mimics a Wyeth painting, but it's a little bit different. Actually, the terrifying, this image of water in this dark, dark place. For me, the, the Wyeth project is about going to the pl same places and then finding something that either is resonant or is actually uh, not so harmonious with what Wyeth painted or saw. And that's right. the exciting thing, is to have both the harmony and the dissonance.